guys, welcome back to The Buzz. I'm Tierra Bree and you're watching Buzzworthy Businesses. Today, I'm with Charles Green of Jacksonville ENT Surgery. How are you? Wonderful, how are you? Wonderful, thank you for joining us. Thank so you. So tell me a little bit about what you do. So Jacksonville ENT Surgery is a comprehensive practice that uh, takes care of problems and diseases associated with the ears, nose, throat, head, and neck. Mm -hmm. So we take care of adults and pediatric patients and we treat uh, sinus problems, uh, throat problems, tonsils, ear tubes we put in. We take care of patients who have parotid or salivary gland tumors, mm -hmm. head and neck cancer. Wow. Uh, we take care of basically every problem in the ear, nose, and throat. We also uh, have uh, three hearing and balance centers, so we take care of patients who have disorders of hearing and balance. Mm -hmm. So it is a comprehensive ear, nose, and throat service. Definitely sounds like it. So you could help me with these, these vocal problems. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. And how did you get into this line of work? Oh, wow, that's a long story. <laughs> but uh, I started out, uh, I did a combined MD-PhD at the University of Washington in Seattle. And uh, while I was uh, studying in medical school, at some point I became interested in in the ear, mm -hmm. uh, mainly because part of my research interest was doing what's called intracellular recording, where I would stick electrodes into nerve cells and try to understand how the brain and other parts of the neural system worked. And the ear happens to be a great model for studying uh, the effects of activating different neurotransmitter systems in the brain. So I started becoming interested in the ear. And then I did a rotation. After my general surgery rotation, I did a rotation on the ear, nose, and throat service and fell in love with it. Definitely so. That's awesome. And that's great that you're doing something you love. And since it's such a comprehensive practice, what are some of the most common problems that people come to you all with? Well, we see a lot of patients who have sinus and allergy problems. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, were some of the first people in this part of the country to do a minimally invasive procedure called balloon sinuplasty which is a procedure that uh, treats sinusitis without doing any cutting. Okay. So we often do these procedures in the office. They take about 15 minutes. We can treat all of the sinuses and patients go back to work within a day or two. That's crazy because thinking of my surgery and my sinuses, I was out for like a month. So I, might have, I probably should have seen you first is what that, you're saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you should have a problem again, we'd be happy to take care of Definitely. you. Definitely. So that's awesome though. And then do you all sponsor any local events or anything like that? Well, we do a lot of things in the community. Uh, I'm on the board of directors for We Care Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So We Care Jacksonville provides uh, free medical care to patients who can't afford medical care. And often these are not indig indigent people. They're people who have jobs but have fallen on hard times. Mm -hmm. So We Care uh, coordinates with hospitals. We, uh, we uh, have a network of physicians that all work together to take care of these patients. And so that's one of the things we do. We also have sponsored uh, education programs uh, here in the city. Uh, when Mayor Brown was the, the mayor, we, we, we uh, gave money to his education program. We continue to donate funds to education programs. We've uh, done things for the bridge at Jacksonville, the bridge of Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So lots of different community uh, activities. In addition to going to uh, middle schools and high schools and talking to people about, talking to children about their future and and trying to influence them to maybe mm -hmm. consider ENT. And follow but, your field. <laughs> and definitely, and you're, you're sponsoring Guns and Hoses this year, right? That's correct. Could you tell me a little bit about that event and what that means to you? Well, uh, I think this is the 19th annual Guns and Hoses event for Jacksonville, and it is an event uh, that on the surface is a boxing event where the uh, police officers and the firefighters duel it out in the ring. Uh, but more importantly, it is a charitable event. So the proceeds from that event go to help children. And uh, uh, I know some of the causes that they support are muscular dystrophy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Make-A-Wish is one of the things that they're thinking about sponsoring this year. So it is a way that our firefighters and police department are able to give money to charities. And it's also a way for us to thank them for their service. Exactly. I think that we all feel safer because of the JSO and uh, the fire department and these men and women who put their lives on the line for us. So we are supporting their causes Definitely and so. them. 
Exactly. Well, it's great that you're sponsoring that. And thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank if you. If they do want to contact you because they need some help with some of those problems, how can they reach you? Well, there's several ways to reach us. Uh, you can go on the Internet and you can uh, Google www.jacksonvilleentsurgery.com or you can just say Jacksonville ENT and you'll find Jacksonville ENT Surgery. Uh, we, we will be on the first page of Google. And you can also call 904-419-2054. But we are very easy to find. Perfect. Well, I will definitely be reaching out, Charles. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And come support our firefighters and police. Exactly. We'll see you all at Guns and Hoses. We'll see you at Jacksonville ENT Surgery. And we'll see you next time at The Buzz.